All right, three, two, one. Cool. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we do pretty much just the podcast now and Blu-ray reviews from Mill Creek Entertainment. So for this review, I have in my hands the brand new Ultra Galaxy. I don't even I really don't even know what this is. Um, Ultra Galaxy Mega Monster Battle and the sequel season Never Ending Odyssey, as well as the Mega Monster Battle Ultra Galaxy the movie this is a whole lot of information on this cover and this is part of a two set that comes out on this tuesday the 15th so yeah like i said i'm not really sure what this was at first when i got it and i'm still not sure what this is because when i opened this up i had inside <laughs> and i reached out to mill creek to to let them know about this hopefully this is an isolated incident um but the slipcover has the Ultra Galaxy Mega Monster Battle, but the inside has the other set that comes out uh, today or this Tuesday when I don't know when you're watching this, which is the Ultra Zero sets. So we have the Ultra Zero, um, you know, little straight to DVD, straight to video, as well as the Ultraman Zero movies, which um, I again wasn't really sure what this was you know it's not exactly a series it's not exactly a season but i actually popped in revenge of belial and i liked it i <laughs> i wish more ultraman looked like this you know like obviously it's a movie they can you know, do a little bit more with the budget but it looked great i really like that i'm gonna watch saga i have it transferring right now and most of you know i'm still pretty new to ultraman i'm not the biggest fan just yet but with sets like these we are able to kind of you know view everything and we have a wider selection which is great because it's going to mean a lot more fans are going to be able to like walk into like a best buy or a walmart or wherever these are sold and find this take it home and find out about tokusatsu if they don't already know now what's cool about this set is it was three discs it looks pretty nice i wish that i did have the slip cover that matched this the video presentation is pretty good here it's from the early 2010s so it does look pretty good you know they've already had you know the end codes they just slap those onto a disc for us over here for region a for the blu-rays and it looks really nice especially the movies they look super good another cool thing to note is the audio for i think the first time on these ultraman sets i could be wrong i don't know on the movies we have both the japanese and english version for revenge of belial and the saga movie which that's pretty cool the english dub's not really my fancy but you know someone else out there might really like that and i know a lot of people were harping when ultraman you know uh season two first came out asking where the english version was and i actually think that a lot of that couldn't be included because it was an edited version of the original presentation so you couldn't exactly slap another audio track on there which pulling up the disc information on this it does show two different uh video tracks for each of the movies one with a japanese audio and one with the english audio meaning when you get to the menu and you select whichever one you want there's no way to, you know, swap or cycle between the audio, which is, uh, you know, kind of a disappointment. You got to stop the movie. You got to go all the way back to the menu and you got to select the next one um, versus, you know, that. But that's probably just because of editing. You can see that the file sizes are different. So potentially there's some things missing or there's some things that are, you know, reworked or just different for the English presentation. Um, but not, not the biggest problem. And yeah, no special features or anything on this, but I again was really blindsided i had no idea what these were these covers are a little uh, <laughs> yeah there's a lot going on here you know and it's not a bad thing like it really does sum up what goes on in this show pretty well but i mean from an outside perspective from somebody who's not the biggest fan or somebody who's not a fan at all just yet i think seeing this on the shelf would i don't know it, it might interest me it, it kind of confuses me because I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking at or how it fits into everything and I'm still a little still a little lost on that but I'm gonna be watching these I'm gonna be checking out Saga once I finish this video up and I'm I'm interested in seeing what comes out next you know like what we're gonna see from this next we've only got a handful of you know series left we got a plethora 
of these like straight to home videos as well as movies. So maybe we're going to see more movie packs like this for some of the other series that we already have had on disc. But who knows? That's all I have for this time. I hope you guys check out your copies of... <laughs> what is this? Ultra Galaxy Mega Monster Battle. What is it even called? Th these titles are just so long. The Ultra Galaxy Legend Side Story. Yeah. There's no way I'm... There's no way anyone's gonna remember that. And if you do, go outside more. Yeah. But these are really good. These are great presentations. And I think if you have any interest in Zero, have any interest in the Mega Monster Battle stuff, like... You're going to love this. This is a great set. It's cheap too, so knock yourself out. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this review, please click that subscribe button. Please click the like button. Please comment on what you're most excited to see either in one of these sets or in, I don't know, like a future set. Let me know. All right. Have a good one. Bye.